Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this look is going to be a dewy, summery, bronzy kind of look. It's perfect for summer for me. I love the bright lip and just the gold tones, especially in my eyes. I love the gold pigments that I use um, and all the highlight and the glowiness of my skin. There's a lot of steps that I took and a lot of products that I use, but if you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. So what I'm going to do first is moisturize my face, and since this is going to be a really dewy, bronzy, glowy, summery look, I want my skin to be the focus of the look, basically. So I want my skin to look really healthy, really shiny, like it's glowing from within, like I just had a chemical peel, like I run every day, like I drink juices and eat my vegetables, even though I don't. So I'm going to use makeup to make it seem like that. So I'm gonna use the Nivea Soft Refreshingly Light Moisturizing Cream. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger, rub it together, and get all up in those pores. So to lock in this moisture, I like to use an oil, and you can use Really whatever oil you want that's safe to use on your face. Um, avocado oil is really good. Um, almond oil is good. I'm gonna use vitamin E oil because it helps fade scars, it evens skin tone, and it moisturizes your face. And I'm just gonna take a little bit, a tiny bit, and just pat it into my skin. So I do the moisturizer first, and then the oil, it's kind of like the lock method kind of sort of for skin instead of hair so you have the lotion first and then the oil to keep it all locked in you can do just the oil or just the moisturizer up to you i find that my skin really loves oil on to skin for primer because i want it to be a really dewy look like i said i'm going to use this lumi primer from l'oreal it's a light infusing primer it basically just makes the the light bounce off your face, it gives you more of a glowy look, and I like to put it underneath my foundation or mix it in with my foundation sometimes because it gives it just such a beautiful, beautiful finish. So just a little bit, just a dollop. So I just like to spread it all over my fingers and then just pat it into my skin and on my neck. All right, now for foundation. Because I'm kind of tanner now, but then I also kind of lost my tan that I had a couple of weeks ago, the foundation that I bought a couple of weeks ago doesn't work, and the foundation that I had last season doesn't work. So I'm gonna use a combination of three different foundations because I can't find my perfect shade yet, and I only shop at the drugstore because I'm broke. So I'm gonna mix three different drugstore foundations to get my perfect shade. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Blur Foundation, the Milani 2-in-1, and the Maybelline Dream Mousse. So this one's kind of darker, this one gives me more of a yellow tone, and this one is gives me more of that pale undertone. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand to kind of mix it because I don't have one of those, you know, acrylic mixing things. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the pale one, the paler one, I should say, a little bit of my Milani one that's going to give me that yellow undertone that is lacking in most foundations. Just a little bit of the Dream Mousse because this one's the darker one. So a little bit of that. And I'm just gonna mix it up. Since I already have the end of my brush dirtied up, I'm just gonna use it to dot my face with the foundation. And then I'm gonna use this large damp beauty blender and just dab it all in. On to highlighting and contour, I'm gonna use the NYX Sculpt and Highlight and I'm gonna use it with the Magic Lumi highlighter, like liquid highlighter pen thing from L'Oreal. I like to put it on when I do my highlight and contour because I find that it blends more easily and it gives it more of a like natural glowing look. I'm still gonna put highlighter on top of it, but I like to have this underneath as kind of like a base for it. And I'm just gonna highlight where one normally highlights.
upper contour. I'm gonna make the fishy face to find that cheekbone because you know they're not really there by themselves. And now for the highlighter. And then I'm just gonna blend everything in. Ooh, ooh, so now that everything is blended and I got all the cream and liquid on my face that I want, I'm gonna set it with some powder. I'm gonna use my Milani Powder Foundation in Natural Tan and this big fluffy brush that I got from Rite Aid and just set my face. Now that's set, I'm going to go over my highlight area with a powder. I'm going to use my Ulta Press Powder in Banana. And I'm just going to do the highlight with powder. I'm not going to do the contour. And I like to set my highlight area, especially underneath my eyes, because I do have bags under my eyes. And you can see the bags more when there's a cream or a liquid there instead of a powder because it shows it catches the light more than a powder does so you can kind of sort of tell here is where I have the powder you can still kind of see it still kind of see the shadow but not too too much whereas here you can kind of see how it shines on the bag and you can see the shadow so that's what I want to take away that's why I like setting my under eyes On to blush and I'm gonna use the NYX Bright Idea Pinky Dust. Smile, find my little cheekbone. I just blend it in with my finger. Now to warm up my face a little bit more, I'm gonna be using the Rummel Natural Bronzer. And as you can see, it kind of marries the contour with the blush. So like here, it looks a lot more blended than it does here. On to highlight because you know we need that. I'm going to use my Lumi and I really, really love the Lumi line from L'Oreal. I just, it's beautiful to me. It gives me the perfect healthy glow that's not, that doesn't look artificial, it doesn't look like I caked on all this highlighter. It looks like my skin is actually just glowing like that, even though it's not. I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques fan brush and just put it in all the areas that you usually highlight. Now on to the eyes. Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows and I'm just going to start my eyes by setting it with the same setting powder that I used on underneath my eyes. So since I don't have an everyday eyeshadow palette, you know, that has like the neutral colors, browns, tans, whatever, I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm going to use this color first as my transitionary color. And I'm also going to bring it on the lower lash line as well. And I'm just going to kind of make it meet the upper one. Because I'm going for like 
a wing, but not really a wing. All right, so after that, I'm gonna do my crease color, and I'm just gonna use the browner shade, the darkest one in the palette, and pop it in right underneath that transition shade. Onto the lid color, I'm going to use two of my favorite ever eyeshadows slash highlighters? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, my two favorite loose pigments, the Bare Minerals Loose Pigment and the Makeup Forever Star Powder. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Star Powder first, and I'm just going to very lightly brush it all over my lid. And a little bit really does go a long, long way. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. All right, so on to the Bare Mineral one. I'm going to use it more as like a spotlight to the eye, so I'm going to wet my brush with a little bit of the NYX. So I'm just gonna pop it in the middle. Give it kind of a shimmer. See the difference? This one's kind of flat. This one not so flat. <laughs> flat, not so flat. Flat, not so flat. And I'm also gonna pop it in the very very corner see so you you don't see it there you see it there no yes so then I'm gonna go back in with that transition color and my crease brush and just blend everything together gonna tight line my eyes with my favorite 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 eyeliner it's the iconic from Lakme India so to tight line my eyes I do what my mom taught me which is put the eye pencil in the corner of your eye and close your eyeball and then just drag it that way you tight line both the top and the bottom see on to mascara I'm using my absolute favorite the Maybelline colossal big shot and I like to start with combing the back of my eyelashes so not going this way first but going this way and then I like to go back in with my NYX skinny mascara and just separate my eyelashes So, as you can see, worked pretty well, I think, you know, compared, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the lips, I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Blur in Orange Ya Glad. And I love this formula. It's so creamy and smooth to put on, and it doesn't feel like it dries out my lips. Alright, so just a once more over with the NYX setting spray. So that is it for my summery, dewy, glowy kind of look. I really personally love this look. It's something that I'll do, not every day because that's way too much work and I usually don't wear makeup every day, but if I'm going out somewhere in the summer, this will be my quick go-to look because I love how it focused on the skin and it just made me look really healthy and not as dusty as I looked before. And the neutral eyes and the bold lip is one of my summer favorites so I hope that you enjoyed the look and if you did please subscribe please like the video a girl needs to get paid and stay tuned for more videos bye